Hi, my beautiful Pisces. What's up, you guys? It's Jessica and it's Trusting Truth Tarot, also known as TTT Intuitive. So you guys go ahead and check out in the description box below. TTT Intuitive is my other page. I do pick a card readings on that. Hopefully it helps and assist you in some way. I mean, it's fun for me. I hope it's fun for you guys, but then it's also helping you guys in some way. So with that being said, you guys, this is your daily reading, you guys. And um, I want to thank you guys so much for everyone who are purchasing a personal readings. Thank you guys so much for trusting me with your truth and believing in me. Um, thank you guys for all your love and support to this channel. So third parties, cross watchers, what's up, you guys? You're also in the mix of this. I appreciate you guys. So Pisces, okay, let's get into this reading, you guys. Let's get into this reading. I'm so happy my daughter purchased the little new thing here. So hopefully I might start using that. But I'm perfectly comfortable with giving these messages to you the way that I am now. So either way, you're getting the message, correct? So hit that like button. Hit that fucking like button. Thank you. So Pisces now, this is really, really like, I feel like I'm going back and forth with you guys. But guess what? I'm going to keep rocking with you guys. And I'm going to keep, you know, explaining this to you guys and being here and being a light for you guys. So let's do this, okay? Pisces, you are feeling overcommitted and unfulfilled. I don't know if you guys are trying to manifest something. I don't know if you guys are trying to like get something done, but you're feeling like you're the only one that's overcommitted and you're feeling unfulfilled. For some of you guys, this is your manifestations, right? And I'm going to give an example of where you feel like you're trying to manifest something, but then you kind of feel like... It's like some of you guys are trying way too hard. Um, for some of you guys, I'm getting this energy where you're making this way too hard. The situation should not be this hard. It should not be this level of difficulty. It's like you're telling yourself it's hard. You're telling yourself this is difficult. Or somewhere in your mindset, that's how you feel. Okay. So, yeah, this is a, a level of difficulty. Someone's making this very difficult. I'm going to keep it real with you. I do feel like you're making this harder than what it has to be, whatever it is that you're doing. For some of you guys, it may not be manifestation, but I do feel like whatever this is, a situation that you're in right now, you're making this quite confusing. You're making this quite unclear. Um, you're making this quite difficult and a burden for you. So, if you're manifesting, you want it to be fun. It needs to be effortless. It needs to be something that you're not, you know what I'm saying? Going to allow yourself to get like confused and feeling like, you know, stressed about. So that's an example I'm giving. But I feel like what's happening is that you're not leaving room or space for something to happen, for something to come in. You're not allowing it to happen, right? Um, you're setting your intentions. So I see that you're setting some type of intentions but then you're also putting limitations on how this is going to happen, how it's going to show up. So I got to keep it real with you. What's coming in is someone who wants to reconnect here with you or someone that wants to come in um, to offer you love and affection, emotions. Um, it's a romantic offer that's coming in. But it's like, mm, I feel like your mindset the way you're viewing it or how you're viewing something to happen is causing this offer of this person to be confused and it's limiting this person. Yeah, I got to keep it real with you, baby. Like you're putting limitations on yourself in this person. You're putting limitations on how something is going to happen. So therefore, when this offer comes in, it, they're very limited on how they can come in. And that's crazy. That's what you're doing because that's how powerful you are. And I don't think you even realize how powerful you are. Um, yeah, you're limiting this offer. You're limiting to you're limiting this person on, you know, how much of themselves that they can give at this time or what they're able to show or offer. Now, this part you may not like. OK, there's a lot of truth that's coming out. Trusting truth to row, Right. Spirit is saying the advice here is that you have, okay, you're over here saying, I'm the only one doing this. I'm the only one that wants this. I'm the only one. I'm the only one. I'm, that's what you're saying. And because you are thinking this way, you are ending up becoming the only fucking one. You are the only one that's overcommitted and therefore it's leaving you unfulfilled.
okay? So you have to get out of this victim mindset, okay? You have to get out of this victim mindset where you're putting yourself in this mental prison. You have to get out of this. You have to lay your burdens down. You have to stop carrying this type of mentality. You have to stop this, okay? You have to put an end to this. You have to lay that burden down. You are not a victim here in this circumstance or in this situation. You can't say that this is what I desire, this is what I'm going to get, but then feel like you're a victim in the situation. Then what are you going to get out of the situation? How will the offer come in? It's going to come in very limited, right? The offer is going to be a little hazy. It's going to be a little confused. It's not going to be really clear. It's not going to, you know what I'm saying? So you are restricting and limiting how this person can come in. For some of you guys, you're doing way too much and you want to allow this manifestation or you want to allow someone to actually come in because it's like you're manifesting, but then you're also trying to take over everything here. So you're not giving that room and that space for something to come into it, to manifest to it, to, for it to become your reality. So if you don't take anything from this reading, take this. You have to get out of that victim mindset for one thing. Okay, you have to stop the victim mindset. You have to stop telling yourself that you're the only one that want this or you're the only one that doing this. Because you're thinking this way, you are becoming this. You are becoming the only one, okay, in this situation. Wow, it's you. You're the common denominator. <sighs> okay. I hope this helped you in some way, Pisces. 